Hello. What's, what's your name? My name is uh, Buko. Where are you from? I'm from Sydney, but originally came from Mongolia. Mm -hmm. Music is my whole life. I've been playing my instrument for 22 years and singing for 15 years. My name is Buko Gamberget. I'm a Mongolian first singer. I originally came from Mongolia. It's a beautiful country. It's the, the last nomadic culture around the world. I'm living in Australia for 10 years now. Mongolian first singing, it's really hard to learn. You have to learn with the proper teacher, otherwise it damage your vocal cords. It's, it's really, really hard work to learn throat singing. It's like a magical thing happening you create from your throat. You can sing two notes at the same time from your mouth. We are actually mimicking uh, bird sounds and river sounds and mountain forest and winds all from nature. So that high bit was your voice? It is, yeah. It was just, it was like a crazy. heavenly experience. I could literally spend the whole day meditating, listening to what you just did. You completely changed the, the feeling in the room. It was so beautiful, and that was just incredible to watch. Thank you very much. You're singing multiple notes at the same time. Yeah, I'm singing two notes at the same time. I've seen that online, but I've never seen it <laughs> in real life. Can, can we hear just your voice for a second? Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> So good. And is that, um, how do I say that instrument? It's like an uh, uh, do or something? Uh, uh. This instrument called horse fiddle. The Mongolian name is Murung Hor because horse is symbol of Mongolia. And horse at the top of the instrument. Oh, wow. Oh, that is I amazing. Yes. And it looks like two strings, but it's all horse tails. We've never had anything like you on The Voice. You know what it reminds me of? You know on Lord of the Rings when there's like a big orc battle or something and then they go to... It goes to this beautiful triumphant thing. It's like so cinematic and beautiful. I'm so inspired. Oh, thank you. I'm excited that you're on a show like this because it just opens up so many 
creative opportunities to, to do collaborations and all sorts of stuff. And I hope you're on my team so that we can get creative and do some stuff. Thank you. It was so beautiful. And just the way you just like allowed us to like be in your world, it's really amazing to be able to do as an artist. I love your energy. I love your like spirit. I would love for you to be on Team Kelly. Thank you very much. I would also love you on uh, Team Delta. I really, I really didn't want that to stop. I'd, I'd be happy if you kept singing. The placement of your voice, the connection, um, it was absolutely sublime. That was truly, truly transcendent. It, it really was... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Who's this lady? Oh! A baby! Hi! Oh, Hi. oh my God! Hi. She is so sus on you, Kelly. <laughs> hey, can I help you up? I can help you up. No? Yeah, come, come on, Mama. Daddy. Okay, sorry. Normally, kids love you. It's the first time she's met a sailboat. <laughs> Unhand me. Come on up. Is this Mama? Come on up, Mom. Ah, nice hi, to hi. meet you. You're so nice. beautiful. Thank you. Pleasure yeah. to meet you. You get to listen to this all day? <laughs> you must be the most zen, at peace person ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, she's adorable. Bye, little mama. I think with someone, I think with someone as unique as you, there really isn't anything to do but let you do what you do. Maybe try and, and enhance it with, I don't know, I'd put you together with someone like Sam Perry. You know, that would be a great collaboration. I think that you, what you do is so unique, you can't really change it. You've just got to embrace it and let it happen. I, mean, I would love to have you on my team. I think you've got a pretty, uh, pretty difficult decision because there's four coaches up here that really want you. Uh, my decisions. Uh... Guys, super soon. Are you choosing me? I'm so pumped. That's so great. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Amazing. That's beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you. Good luck. Six of beats under that. Rock the world. Man, such a pleasure. For sure. And your baby girl is so gorgeous. So cute. And we just need to showcase you and what you do because it's so beautiful. I don't want to change anything. It's just so beautiful as it is. I literally just should have done this. Mm -hmm. That was... Mm -hmm. Oh, it's peaceful. Beautiful, really beautiful. We've heard runs and we've heard high notes. We haven't heard two notes at the same time. That's pretty unique. He's the real deal. Like, we've got an elite musician who can do something no one else here can do. Hey. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I was scared this was going to happen. Oh. I walk through the door and I see Buku as my partner, which blew my mind. Hi. Ah. Oh my God. Did you think this was going to happen? How are you? I was afraid that it was going to happen. I've never seen somebody do what he does, which is he can split his voice in two parts. I'm a Mongolian first singer. It's like a magical thing. Now i got to say this. You can sing two notes at the same time from your mouth. I didn't expect uh, four chairs turn to me. It's very sensational. Who wants to be up against someone as unique and amazing as Buku? If anybody can take on a Mongolian throat singer, it's Johnny. That guy can do anything. For my blind audition, I sang Home from The Wiz. I got four chairs to turn, which is pretty incredible. I've never been this excited about anything that I've ever done on The Voice as I am right now. This is one of those battles that could either be magic or it could be disaster. 
trying to find something that makes you shine and you shine has been challenging. So I've chosen a song which I feel is going to be a moment, and it's Earth Song. Buku and I got Earth Song by Michael Jackson, and I could absolutely not be happier about this song choice. It's an amazing song. It's to me, it's, yeah, it's a big surprise, actually. I never expect. Didn't expect this song? This song. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Oh my god. This is big song. How I'm going to fit in this song uh, makes me a little bit nervous. I think for this to be a moment, I think Johnny has to sing that verse. Your throat singing is just beautiful. It's uh, so beautiful. Then your horse fiddle, which is just stunning, and you play it so beautifully. So I want to showcase both of those things with you. Yeah, yeah. And then if you stay in that room, what about the What about all the things that you said we were to gain? Yeah, it's good. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. This is gonna be stupid. I'm super excited. This is gonna be so stupidly good. Um, <laughs> So, are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm fine, yeah, I'm fine, yeah. As long as, you know, it's nice. This is not quite a duet, no. I'm singing a lot of the song while Buku is throat singing and doing melodic, beautiful things throughout the back, as well as playing his horse fiddle. So it's different. It's, it's different than anything I've ever experienced. I think it's probably going to be different than anything the audience has ever seen. This is what music's about. When two people collaborate at this level, it's just mind-blowing. It's a strange battle, let's face it. It's, it's, it's weird. Buku isn't going to out-sing Johnny, but Johnny can't do what Buku does. We've never had a throat singer before, so let's just go for it. We honor each other's talent. It's actually going to be quite beautiful to see. I'm so excited to sing this song with Johnny. I think we're going to make a magic. Prepare to witness a battle like you've never seen before. It's Mongolian throat singer, Buku. Up against our all-American boy, Johnny Manuel. Oh. Here we go, the waiting is over, folks. The battle starts now. That you said we were to gain. Did you ever stop to notice all the blood we shed before? Did you ever stop to notice this crying nerd, these weeping shores?
Well, Koo and Johnny, that's a unique performance, to say the least, from Team Guy. Very curious to see how the other coaches will find that <laughs> incredible to watch. Uh, wow. What do you think, Delta? I mean, uh, I'm trying to work out because, firstly, I mean, clearly, Johnny, you know, in, you're in the zone. It was flawless what you were doing. The only thing I was struggling with was, was I was trying to understand how this was a battle because it felt like Buku was your backing player. Buku, I didn't get to hear any of your vocals that I heard that I know we all turned around for in the blinds. And I didn't, I didn't at all feel it was fair. So, so I'm confused how, did, how Buku felt in that situation because he was backing you and that's it. And that's not a battle. That's not fair. Kelly, do you do you agree with Delta on that or? I do agree, Johnny. The way you performed that was so beautiful. It really, really was. Your vocal Thank was you. spotless. It really, really Thank is. You. It's so unfortunate because I feel like it takes away from both of you in this moment because Johnny can't just like like relish in this like incredible moment. Yes, you know he what can. I mean? That that yes, I mean, he can. I'm not saying that he can't, but I'm saying that you actually took that away from him. And we have to be focused on something else, which is the fact that you actually chose a song where Buku is only like backing up. Yeah. In my opinion. It's you guys, me you guys have Johnny. lost your mind. I must minds. have been in a different room to the rest of you. I'm sorry. That to me says that you guys are more interested in a competition. I haven't even said anything no, yet. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, no, no, let no, me no, say no. something. No, you always talk. This is my go. It's about what's fair. I want everyone to shine when they walk up there. I'm Bufu, saying what's Bufu fair. Buku just it's... played an instrument. I don't and he, think that so it was. What's there was... unfair is me wait, wait, to get wait, wait, wait. Buku. But first of all, it's unfair that you're talking right now. I think George has to go okay. next. Yeah. yeah, I want to say something positive about what I just saw because I was expecting to really dislike the performance, right? I was like, this ain't going to work. This is disastrous. I mean, yes, it wasn't a battle in the sense that, you know, you could still make a decision about who's better and who's worse. You're an amazing singer. Thank you. Forget it, you're an amazing singer, everybody wanted you. You, what you have is so marketable, it's so transcendental and beautiful. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't perfect, but you know, I think that you made it work. It was respectful, I liked it. I don't think that was fair. So, so just so I'm clear, you guys turned around for Buku for his vocals. Like, let's be but real. But did you turn around for his vocals then as well? No. I turned around because there was something unique about Buku, but it's, it's his throat singing and his playing and his insane musicianship. But I didn't so hear it. So what's unfair is if I get Buku to sing up against Johnny. Because that's put not together. what I'm. No, but, but they did sing together at the end. Like, y you guys are. are you're, you're crapping on a moment. No, that nobody's is... crapping on a moment at no, all. But it, but I just want to make great moments. I, I, I don't care about the battle element. I care about both of you shining. And right now we are in a battle and it is about giving a song that's fair to both artists. So what, what so, so just, just out of curiosity, what sort of Mongolian sounding song that would have shined for both of these guys, would well, you have one, chosen? Well, it doesn't have to necessarily... I think we both know, Guy, and so do you, that it doesn't necessarily have to be a Mongolian type of song. Oh, I know Because that. all of us... Well, then why did you say that? You just asked the question, like, what kind and of Mongolian song? Well, like, as in so what... So was what? that literal, or were you just actually asking a question? No, I think you, I think you guys are trying to pick fights and no, just being weird. No, I'm not trying weird. to pick a fight. I'm just asking you a, a very honest question. Well, if, you, if you're going to... I'm in a room full of insane people. How did I become the normal one? I, I just okay. think... <laughs> I'm asking questions. Going on. I don't think anyone who loves music, they're not going to get swept up in, in fairness because to me, I'm not going to represent so Buku. So it's like, a... let's not be fair to Buku? That's not fair. Can I just say something? Both of you are extremely talented. Thank you. Let's just like make that very clear. As a matter of fact, I'll tap my own hand in saying that I probably should have said that first. Yeah, so but my you didn't. apologies. Yeah, but you need to slow your roll. What I'm saying is, is that I said it now. I said it okay. now, and you couldn't say anything but, but before. But that, that was so my point I'm, before. I'm, like of all the things, like we open up with Delta saying yeah, but that, in a, and then you yeah, saying but that. Like, like a couple it's... artists ago, we're all talking about battles, guy. And if we're talking about battles, then let's get back to the fundamentals. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that we're not to break the rules. 
I'm just saying we can't be picky and choosy at where we use them and where we where we don't. Are you saying that you wanted to hear Buku sing more? Is that what you wanted to hear? Yes, for sure. But Buku doesn't put his hand up and say to me that he's a, a, a singer as a pop singer. Like he's not he's not trying to out sing Johnny. So why would I put him in a position where he doesn't shine in his best light? You know, I just feel like this is becoming redundant, and I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not. So yeah. I think you should make you your decision. So. No. I... Did anybody enjoy it like I did? I thought it was kind of beautiful. No. Yes. It was phenomenal. Look, do, I mean, do you, I guess the question is, do you feel that it was unfair to you? Honestly, yeah, I don't know, actually. Oh. I feel like we overcame the obstacles that we were facing in the beginning and we came together and we both said before we came out here that this was a representation of music. We wanted to come out here and do justice to the song and we didn't, you know, we wanted to showcase what each of us does individually, so. I think these guys are deflated because they, we've just seen something so beautiful and I'm so disappointed for you guys that it's turned into a circus. Like, I, But it like, hasn't, it hasn't. I think it has. This was about choosing a song where you, where it didn't feel fair in both people's lines. That was all, that was all. It's not about negating the talent. And by the way, I'm not bucking down to nobody because I still feel the same way I felt a second ago. You guys are amazing. And I still feel the same way I felt a second ago. It, it was a battle. Rules break all the time. Maybe this is something new. And if it is, then we'll gladly embrace it. But then we have to do every other battle the same way. So that's all I'm saying. No, we don't, because we don't yes, have we a- Yes, we do. I'm not, gonna, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going back and forth with you guys. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing unique. this. It's unique. I'm not it's doing this. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. That ain't even worth it. <laughs> Oh, because a walk-off does heaps. What are you going to do? What's a walk-off going to do? It's so disrespectful. No, you're disrespectful. You're disrespectful. In that case, don't put them together. It's a circus to me. I don't think it's you can say circus. that's not very fair to say it's disrespectful to Kelly because Kelly's allowed to say what she feels out here. Also, I'm, I'm so that's fine not with like, that. That's also, not fair. I have to say, I walked off last year. Sometimes you just need to take a break. And, no, she know, doesn't need to take a break. She said what she needs to say, and that's fair. Like, we should move on. Like, yeah. this is now redundant. It's so yeah. stupid. It's so silly. It, I, I think we should just She's move just, on. Uh, Delta, go grab Kelly and we can... Can uh... I just say, the good news is you're being talked about, and it's great. I actually feel bad for them. And, like, Johnny had a beautiful vocal. I feel so bad for this guy. Should we wait for the ladies to come back, or should we, we should just march on? We could get on with the show. We could get on with the show. Just waiting to hear from the producers. You guys are part of a, a great moment. I, I, I thought it was beautiful. The crowd were going off the whole way. They were standing on their feet and enjoying two gifted musos. And I'm just, I'm sorry that it's turned to this. I think we should let it go. Like, let's let it go. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, my, I ain't, yeah, yeah. my feelings ain't hurt, but I'm just, this is redundant. This shit is redundant, yo. Totally. All right, I leave it. Oh, the back, the back. Oh, hey. <laughs> Everyone, calm, chilled, we're all Absolutely. back. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ready for a decision? Absolutely. Ultimately, it's your team guy, mm. and it's up to you now. Who do you want to take forward uh, into those playoffs? Um, Buku, you have represented your gifts so beautifully on all levels. Thanks very much. On all levels. And, and you should be so proud of yourself and uh, you're such an accomplished, re respected musician. I, I think it, it's, it's quite clear that this show definitely suits somebody like Johnny and so I don't think it'll be any surprise that I'm gonna go for Johnny. Congratulations, Johnny. You're going forward in Team Guy. I want to say a special thank you to Buku because we did work really hard together on this. Thank you for choosing me. This is pleasure. I couldn't have asked for anything more. So I, thank I'm you. I'm going to watch this back so many times because I, I'm just such a fan of both of you. This is this is why I do the show. I do it to create moments like this. Well done. Well done. Don't worry about all of that. You deserve to be here. You really do. Well done, honey. Well done. <laughs> Wonderful job.
Thank you, Wilbur Mark. Good man. Thank you very much. Johnny moves forward on Team Guy. Unfortunately, no saves for Baku tonight. His time on The Voice has come to an end. I had a really, really incredible time. And big, big thanks to the musician behind me. Oh. Please stand up and big hand for them. Oh. And Johnny. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you for a phenomenal performance. Yeah. Give it up for Buku, everybody.